here we are in the demon ruins. Uh, I was kind of looking around for a moment before I hit the record button and see of course that there are like a gigantic root system behind me which I'm assuming is like the roots of one of those huge trees. It might even be the one that that was in Blight Town. I'm not sure exactly where this um, where this cavern lines up on the map with, with uh, Blight Town. The other thing I'm curious to find is... What is that up there? Um, I know that I could see this kind of dome here from um, from the Tomb of the Giants. So I'm curious, like, I was looking out from a like kind of a an opening in the wall. So I'm curious if I can find like if I can see back into that zone from down here somewhere. For all I know it could be on like the other side of this though. So I wonder if I can hop down onto that thing. Oh, there's some enemies over there. And treasures. Is that? If that's like a building, it's pretty large and intimidating. Not the building itself, but what might be in it. So I guess down here is where the lava used to be. And I went up there and killed some, uh, like, flame monster up on that ledge. So what are we? Didn't do very much damage. Okay, I got room to maneuver back here. I shouldn't wear this ring anymore. Let's put on the, uh... Actually, let's put on the Ring of Sacrifice, because I have so many souls. I, I can't decide. I, I have now just enough to level up once, but I'm also considering buying, um... I know Griggs has now a spell that's 40,000 souls to purchase. I'm curious to... Oh, I got a whole bunch of them, don't I? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. fire. Oh god. This is so death. This is just death. There's no way this isn't death. I can't even see where I'm going. Oh boy. Get out of my camera. Out of my camera!
that's over in this corner. Wearing the Ring of Sacrifice makes you bolder than normal. Right, I still don't see a way down to that. There's also all sorts of like temples and stuff up, up above me. So it seems like stepping onto this hurt me, but it didn't, like, instantly kill me. I think I remember that from earlier. There's a treasure out there. Uh, what about if I, like, stack fire defense? Um, oh, I don't have this the fire resistance spell on, and I don't want to take off this ring, so I'm kind of screwed. Run out there and get the treasure and die and waste my ring. Or do I... I think I'm going to come back later with, like, the flash sweat spell attuned and a whole bunch of fire gear. And maybe do a run for that. Same thing here. I don't really want to even try jumping this. It looks too far to jump. So I'll, I'll collect those at a later time when I'm properly geared for it. I would warp back to Firelink and get that 40,000 soul spell, but I don't want to run all the way back here again. Demon's Great Axe. Requires 46 strength. Nope. Carved from the bones of fellow demons wielded by the lesser Taurus demons. Does that mean there's a greater Taurus demon? Or Taurus demons? This axe is imbued with no special power, but it can merrily beat foes to a pulp, provided you have the strength to wield it, which I do not. a capra demon running at me. ran across that before. Yep, I 
see another Capra demon. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Capra demons. Two, four, five at least. I don't know what that is, but it's moving too. alive too, although it's not moving. Maybe it's just like the corpse of something that died a long time ago. Okay. Ooh, treasure. Do I go the way that it looks like I should go, or do I jump and get treasure? <laughs> Can you see me if I come over here? What's that? Uh, okay, doesn't seem to be alive. Something down there is surely alive. There have been one of those statue looking things on there. I'll get down there eventually. See, it's it's two competing competing desires that I have. My desire to get treasure. But also my desire not to miss something in the zone. Like not to skip over some little bit of content in the area. So if I jump to get the treasure. I'm worried that I'm gonna going to have missed something. Or that I'll just really confuse myself and make going through the level really difficult. Oop, we have a glowing white light door. And another Taurus demon. Oh. I didn't think that would go that far. ignores. Alright, so what were these things? Oh, they do move. Oh, they're 
their fire breathers. not a thing that's attacking me. Oh my god, that is. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably very loud. I was I was leaning in too close to the mic to kind of squint at the screen. <laughs> oh man. Oh, now I'm awake. Oh, I haven't explored over here yet. sure what that is. It looks vaguely lizard-like, maybe? Like, kind of like humanoid, very fat belly. Is it holding something? Yeah, it's just resting his hands on its belly. is creeping me out here. This is really not... Yeah, I mean... Doesn't seem to be. And the running attack on the sword, especially the two-handed one, deals so much damage. Oh, yes, bonfire, bonfire. Let's get this treasure. <sighs> All right, I guess I should maybe level up once, because The only unfortunate thing is, like, it's possible that this bonfire that I just rested at is warpable, but I think the bonfire that you're sitting at doesn't show up in the list. So I'll never know, until I get to the next one, whether this one can be warped to. So I would like to go back to Firelink and get that spell, but I'm not going to risk losing my progress, so I'm just going to level up instead. Uh, so let me do... Uh, I want to put more points into Vitality, so let me do that. Level 79. I wonder, like, at what level people tend to beat their game, like, the game on their first run through. Because I did some farming like, I have done farming, mostly for, like, upgrade, woo, for upgrade materials. Oh, god, that's right. This monster has come back because I rested a bonfire. Um, I did do some farming runs, so I want to make sure that I don't get, like, 
leveled past the point that, you know, the developers, I guess, maybe expected you to be toward the end of the game. I want to keep the level of the challenge, like, about where it's been, so that... So that's interesting to watch and also interesting to play. Oh, I didn't see that one on the right. Treasure with a Capra Demon, a Taurus Demon, two more Taurus Demons. something is attacking me. Actually, probably the other way because there's a there's a white light doorway here. Let me go this way first. Oh, this is kind of a narrow little place to fight. pokes for a Capra kill and four pokes for a Tara Steeman kill. This is getting narrower and narrower. Oh. Don't drop anything. pillars. Ew. Kind of tendrils of something. very middle. It's like a pillar of something. Or maybe it's just lava, like, falling in. This is cool. It's like tree roots kind of growing under the ground, pushing up all the tiles. Let's get over 
here. I assume I don't want to get hit by that. I'm not sure what it is. Probably poison, I expect. Took that like a champ. Don't roll off the edge. learning. Large flame ember. for weapon ascension, large flame ember used in ancient rites, handled only by blacksmiths knowledgeable in ancient methods. Ascends plus five fire weapon, allows reinforcement to plus ten. Have I even found the ember that gets, <laughs> that gets me to plus one fire? Or to fire, I guess, like plus zero fire. I think I have. Okay. Anything else over here? Nope. really wanted to try that parry dagger in my left hand, but again, these enemies don't seem like, like parrying would be tremendously effective against them. back to the stairs. So there's a couple ways to go here, too. There's straight ahead to the fog. There's a platform over here. Which appears to be empty. There's a way up here that had a Capra demon. Like the fog door is it? No, maybe not. Uh, how do I get down if I jump over there? That's actually a pretty good question. How do I get down? Maybe I could 
jump onto here, but that seems like kind of a dangerous jump. First of all, experiment. Is it death? If one were to fall off of here. what that means. Soul of a brave warrior. I wonder what kind of soul I have. Like if I were to die, what kind of soul would I leave behind? saw like a life bar taking damage through the door. It took nine points of damage. So what is all this? What am I looking at here? They look like ticks, kind of. Why did this bug have a sunlight metal? Ah! And what was taking damage to this door? Alright, so I probably need to hit a lever or turn a handle or something to open that. I didn't see anything down there. So it looks like for the moment, the way to go is through this, through the light. Alright. I still have the ring of familiar. This is like the Asylum Demon, except on fire. doing that. Do that jump up in the air thing. Oh. 
god. I'm in that... I'm in that bad area. Where I keep getting staggered by everything. something great. Demon's Catalyst. Catalysts are weapons. <laughs> Alright, it does fire damage. It scales B with intelligence versus A for the Sorcerer's Catalyst. But the magic adjust is still not Still not up to par. Demon Catalyst formed from... I don't know if it's Isolith or Isolith. I think Isolith sounds better. Formed from Isolith Molten Rock. Can be used as fire weapon. The Demon Fire Sage was the first demon and the last master of the original fire arts before the Witch of Isolith was engulfed by chaos, creating pyromancy. So that was the first demon, huh? Is that on the roof? Oh my god, is that something huge with legs? Or are these just tree trunks? I guess these are just trees. Just roots. down down oh yes yeah, so let me see if that last bonfire is on the list of warpable locations Duke's archive new No, it's not, still. I'm not going back to Firelink until one of these bonfires shows up in the list. Therefore, let me do another Vitality. And let's put the... All these monsters I'm fighting are, like, really big. I don't know how much the poise from this is gonna matter. I guess I could do sorcery. Maybe fire defense, actually. Let me do fire defense. Since, like, there seems to be so much fire around here. Alright, so let's assume that that's the right way to go, given that there's a bonfire. Or, in any case a way to go that takes me further through the level, so let me try, uh, let me try going up now. Ow.
I mentioned in this video how much I love this weapon. Because I totally do. I'm so happy that I found this. And here's why. That would have been so much cooler if I killed all three of them. Uh, I'm becoming less and less sure of exploring this way. It looks kind of like the marker that was in, uh, that was near the, the other Bell of Awakening. <gasps> well, I'm down here now. Oh, wait, I've been here. Maybe I ought to kindle that bonfire. I die, I'll kindle it. Okay, so straight just gets me back down to that room. How about right? Right and left both look like dead ends. What is this? Opening up shortcuts in this game is like just as gratifying, I think, as, as killing the bosses. Because it means you don't have to fight through all those enemies. I still wish that I could like warp to the to the bonfire in the swamp though. Here is our new home. Let me kindle this. I wish I could, like, keep the shield on my back and use the sword and use a parrying dagger. 